Hi, I'm Les Shaw. And hi, I'm Deb Cormier. Welcome to the Computer Mechanics Reloaded. This week, Deb's got a sore throat, so I'm going to be doing most of the talking this week. This week, we're going to take a look and see what you get when you actually go to an Intel Microsoft rock concert, I guess we went to. I mean, yeah. I've got the, the back passing happening here. Aren't you special? I am, I am. You know, as, uh, as, your, as, your boy, as your mate, as your boyfriend, your birthday was coming up. What does a man get for someone that he cares about for his birthday? His time. It's my birthday, not your, your birthday. My birthday. We share a birthday. In fact, actually, what we did is we, we bought tickets to this Intel slash Microsoft Ready to Rock. Now, we're talking about the release of Vista the release of new CPUs that go in your computer after I broke this one. Ouch. <laughs> the CPUs are Intel Core, Core two, 2 Duo. Duo. Yes. During the conference, uh, again, your birthday. Oh, an exciting thing they, happened. They announced that same day that there will now be an Intel Core 2 Duo Quad Core. So we're talking four times the multiple, you know, it just gets bigger and bigger and faster. Mm -hmm. Intel at this conference uh, released a lot of information. I mean, I've got some inside secret pictures to show you what we went through. Plus, you're going to get, you know, I saw this on the Oscars, right? The Oscars, they show people what was in their swag bag, right? So, you know, what you, they end up getting, that's you what get, it is. You, we got swag bags. Well, when you go to a <laughs> oh, conference. Oh, mine, mine wiped out. When you go to a conference, you get what they call a swag bag. Yes. So now picture this. I'm walking around with two of these, one for me, <laughs> one for Deb. And there is stuff in here that you will not believe. So you want to stay tuned to the very end of the show, and I'm going to show you what's in these bags. The show is also jam-packed with some new stuff and also some ideas on how to keep your computer updated. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The one thing that we can probably go to as we're going, we're, we will be going out, is we look at your computer right now. The one thing that Microsoft has been steady on is finding problems with their operating system. So regularly, they oh. found errors and problems and holes, reasons why you catch viruses. But they so do fix it. They fix them. They fix it with something called an update. Yeah, okay? or a patch. And if you take a look at your computer, I'm running Windows XP Media Center. Same mm -hmm. thing as XP. Mm -hmm. Same thing as, well, it's Windows based XP. based on professional. If you look in the bottom corner, and if you look at mine now, too, right down in this area, there's a little yellow shield. That's telling you you want to do all the Windows updates. I'm going to double click on that, and when we come back, we're going to update this computer with the latest Microsoft patches and show you how to do yours. Things Durham with Durham Living, a fun-filled and informative half-hour magazine show that travels your community, profiling local attractions, restaurants, and places of historical significance. Take the journey with Durham Living on Rogers Television, Durham Region. OHL Primetime on Rogers Television. Don't miss Oshawa at Ottawa, Friday, December 1st at 7.30 p.m. Hey, ever wonder what a serving of vegetables or fruits is? Mm -hmm. Well, if it fits in your hand, it's probably a serving. Here, like a banana. Hmm. <coughs> or some broccoli. Ah. Here comes a pear. <coughs> Ooh. And a half cup of frozen peas. <laughs> I should have let them thaw first. <coughs> Eating five to ten servings of vegetables and fruits each day as part of a healthy diet helps to reduce the risk of cancer, heart disease, and stroke. Five to ten a day. It all adds up. You come to bed? I'm just gonna catch the end of the game here. Dad, I can't sleep. Come here. You wanna see an amazing goal? And you look to see your true reflection. You wanna watch the last two minutes of the game with me? Yeah. I'll be the one who loves you the most. We're back again. So I'm ready with my bag. Where's your bag? When we left, right, 
I wanted to show you some important tools that you will use on your computer mm -hmm. to make sure one, you have all the latest fixes and updates, plus there's one out there that's going to irritate the crap out of you. I don't even know what that word is. I made it up. Can I Internet swear it? Internet Explorer 7. That's all you need. Internet have to say. Explorer 7. Yeah. Okay? And for all those people that keep saying, oh, I don't use Internet, I use Firefox, okay? You got another thing coming. You got to merge. You have to become part of the Borg. You have to buy into the whole big boy philosophy. Assimilate. You have to be. And I'll tell you why, okay? You're going to go to a website that's really, really important. And because you haven't updated to the latest version of Internet Explorer, that website is going to be based on Internet Explorer 7, and you're not going to be able to do what you want to do. I hate it. it I do. Uh, it's going a love, from IE6 love hate to relationship. IE7, I okay. I just don't like Let's it. Let's get us there, first of all. All right. All right. I double clicked on a little shield in the corner because it kept annoying me. It kept coming up saying you have Windows updates. I cannot figure out why no one ever reads that corner. Do you know how many computers I look at, and no one ever even updated their computer. You had to update it yourself. Mm -hmm. So this update could have a lot more updates in it than mine. Many okay? updates. Here's what I did. I double clicked on the shield. What you could do is tell it to do the express installation, which means, OK, Microsoft, take control. You do what you want to do to my computer. I don't care if it's Microsoft, Intel, ATI, whoever it is, no one's loading anything onto my computer unless I see it first, okay? Yeah. I, you know, and not to say I've never loaded anything bad, I've looked at things and then dumb me just went ahead and installed it anyway, right? Duh. Um, that's always the fun part. But Duh. for Microsoft, we're going to click on the custom. Then you're going to go next. What you'll notice is that the update will be listed there. Now, I locked out here. I didn't do this before the show. I only have one update, Office 2003 Service Pack. That's okay. for my Microsoft Office application. Right. That's the one thing I do like about this. If you have Microsoft Office on your computer and you have XP, it'll down. update them both yeah, at the same they time. They come down with the Windows updates, okay? too. Yeah. And there's sometimes some driver updates. Mm -hmm. what Those this, you got to be careful with. Yeah. So I mean, more often than, or more oftentimes than, than not, We've seen where people have upgraded the sound driver yes. because it happens to be there and it knocks it out the sound completely. But lately with the Microsoft updates that are out there and the types of computers that everyone has at home, you, me, my uncle, my aunt, your mom, my mom, my cousin, my mom, my sister, you know, I don't care if you have a Pentium 3 500 or if you have a Pentium 4 the greatest one in the world, mm -hmm. okay? Or an AMD, the greatest one in the world. That, that would be mine. We're all in the same market, right? We're all in the same place. You have to do the Windows updates. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised when you click on it that you don't see a ton listed there. I mean, I've seen it where it's actually updated 67 yeah. updates. I yeah. mean, you're waiting forever. So yeah. what happens at that point is you shut down your computer and it does the updates. It says, don't turn off your computer. I'll do it when I'm done, mm -hmm. okay? The other thing that'll happen is you can turn on automatic updates, so your computer will actually download them in the background. But again, I like to double click on the shield, see what's in this area, and what do you do at that point? You click on install, mm -hmm. okay? For the purpose of the show, I'm not going to click on install. Well, right. you know what? Let's see how much it slows me down. I might, oh. I might pay for this. I don't you know. You might. I'm going to click on install, and it's now going off to install, oh. okay? It minimizes in the bottom corner as it's updating and downloading all these files, yeah. okay? Since we're going to talk about the Intel slash Microsoft uh, roadshow that mm -hmm. we're going to fill you guys all in, this is like, the, like I said, the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Only special people get invited. The Oscars. Well, you know, in that we had a back pass, we got swag bags. It, it was a show for system builders, is what it was. Exactly, people that build computers, and uh, and that's what we do, right? right? So hey, that's why we're here chatting with you. If we didn't, we we probably be doing a whole different show. <laughs> Now, the funny Why don't we just show is, them the good stuff? At the end of the sh show, oh, people man. are holding on for this. Oh. And you know what? When I show you what's in these bags, I want everyone at the end of the show to say, wow, and go to the phone and call viewer response line. Let me show you some wow, like, wow, okay? All you have to do at your computer is you go to the, uh, your computer, go to www.microsoft, right? Microsoft.com. Did I spell that right? Not, I, not likely. <laughs> you never do. <laughs> I always have a monitor in front of me. It's on the side of the show. <laughs> Just go to Microsoft.com's website, and as soon as you do, you'll be splashed with a lot of advertisement. The first advertisement is for something called Zoom. As Debit said, oh. it's supposed to be Microsoft's answer that, to well, the they've, iPod. They've codenamed it the iPod Killer. 
the and iPod killer. Yeah, I just don't see anything there that's going to kill the iPod, All to right. be honest with you. I, I don't like the way the Zune looks. There's, I've looked at it. I don't yeah, like it. Yeah, it's big. It's clunky. But there's a whole lot of limitations. I mean, it's not your normal MP3 player. The, you know, the winner of your MP3 dollar, iPod or Zune? You know, if I had to go out and buy an iPod or a, a MP3 player, I wouldn't buy an iPod. I wouldn't buy. I would buy one of those cheapy little MP3 players that I can put whatever I want onto it. I don't have to buy someone's product. Like I. That's okay. It just leaves more money for me to buy a real iPod. <laughs> you keep you know, going ahead on the that's cheap where it's stuff, all man. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you listen in, you're boogie into the music, but mm. the iPod, you're spending like a. It, if you have your own CD collection, can you transfer your own CD collection that you've legally bought yes. onto your own iPod? Yes, you can. Can you do it to the Zune? Apparently not. Apparently not. I, Apparently. You know, I, it, it's a gray area. I, I'm not real certain of, uh, on the stipulations. The one thing that I did hear is that if you and your friend each have a Zune, you can transfer music back and forth through, I guess it's IR. Uh, infrared mm -hmm. or uh, possibly Bluetooth, I'm not sure. But you can transfer music back and forth between the two zooms. And the other person and can listen play, to it? It'll play for something like 30 seconds and then it'll prompt you to purchase you know, the music. Funny thing, and as far as I've heard, it does the same thing with your CD music. It's going to take longer to transfer your song over to your friend than it will that you get to listen yeah, to it. I, I, don't I, just, I don't see the point. In it at but all. just to note, when you go out to buy your stuff, you're going to see a lot of Zune. You know what Zune reminds me of, though? That commercial, Zune, Zune, Zune. No? Never heard of it. I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> On the Microsoft site that you just went to, www.microsoft.com, there is actually a really neat tool that's been pretty popular for Google called 3D Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what it is is basically the globe, and they've got the actual satellite shots yeah, photos. of some of the world. Okay, because I'm going to show you how it works here. Yeah. So nobody has a complete one yet. Well, I think that nobody's taking all the pictures. Right, exactly. That's right? what I'm saying. Google actually has better graphics than Microsoft does, but this is online, so you don't actually. How so, though? If they're all running off the same satellites. Let's take a look, okay. shall we? So if I go where here and I says enter business name, so well, let's enter our name, Deb. We worked hard. Computer. We deserve to be a pinpoint <laughs> on a map somewhere. Yes. <laughs> All right, and then we live in the Schwa, so Schwa. Oshawa, Ontario, Ontario. So that's what you type in, business name. Now remember, this is very Americanized, because I thought mm, it was quite wow. funny. When I go Everything and I, is. I hit enter on there, it now will take me, and we're Schwa, there. Schwa, yes. We're the only people that live in Oshawa. Mm -hmm. Only people. <laughs> Number mm -hmm. one. All right. We have this whole town. <laughs> uh, we have the whole town. Yeah. So I'm going to now move up and zoom in. And this will zoom in on the map, okay? So I'm getting closer and closer. Now, this is your regular average 2D map, right? Certainly is. My, my scroll mouse works. You know, I might as well use it. There so. you go. We're actually not there. We're we're pin we're this pinprick. That's us right there. Okay. So now there we are. I'm gonna turn into 3D. Alrighty. So I click on 3D, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna click on Arial, right? And, and lo and behold, it's Microsoft not is not working. really doing much. <laughs> now Don't there you go. It's loading. It's going. It's doing its stuff. <laughs> You know, this is where I pay for the fact that I'm also downloading that update from earlier okay. down in the bottom corner. So, you know, Deb and I talked about this earlier. Hit it big. Go best quality. I want best quality. Sure I you want do. macho, macho, sure macho, you do. macho. And now I'll click on close and close. And there we are right there. Can you see us? No. Is that supposed to be high quality? That is us. I can get driving. That's high quality. That's now, high quality. What you really want to do is do something like CN Tower in Toronto, right? So is it still close to CN I'm Tower? Stu I'm still stuck on how that's high quality. Let's I go Rogers Center, isn't it? Yes. I'm trying to make sure I use all the right words. So <laughs> that would be in Toronto. 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 Ontario. It's, I'm there looking at my fingers. Go. You're not supposed to do that when you're typing. I learned that in typing class. Do you know, actually, I failed typing in grade nine. <laughs> you did not. Wait, wait, wait. In my wait, entire wait, life, wait, the only wait, class I've wait. ever failed was typing in grade nine. And that's probably because I wasn't there a lot. But, you know, 
All right, so I'm going to the gotta be tower. kidding. How does one fail typing? I don't know what that is. I'm looking at somebody's house, I guess. Somebody's but house. The pictures are not as nice as they are uh, in the 3D Google, but if you find an appropriate one, you do get some really nice views. Is Joe stretching or is he trying to get oh, your attention? Oh, he's giving my time. <laughs> But the Sorry. neat thing is you can get directions from here, you can email it, it's free, it's online, you don't have to download anything, and it's www.microsoft.com, click on 3D Maps. Prime Time on Rogers Television. Don't miss Ottawa at Oshawa, Saturday, December 2nd at 2 p.m. Born on December 23, 1866, Joseph E. Atkinson would soon become an influential part of the newspaper business. In 1899, he was hired by a group of liberal leaders as the editor of the Toronto Evening Star, which was suffering from record low readership. His task is save a failing newspaper. He accepted the job and succeeded. By 1913, the Toronto Daily Star had the largest circulation of any other paper in the city and soon became Canada's leading newspaper. When he died in 1948, son-in-law Harry C. Hinmarsh was elected president of the Toronto Star. And to this day, the Toronto Star continues its success as one of the leading news sources in the country. Hi, I'm Don Pittman from Oshawa PUC Networks, and we've teamed up with First Local Weekend to put together 12 informative energy tips that will help you reduce your electric consumption and help you reduce costs. So check us out on First Local Weekend, channels 10 and 63. And we're back again. So what we showed you as we left, right? Mm -hmm. www.microsoft.com, like everyone doesn't know that web address. And right on there, there's the new live version, because Microsoft's doing Microsoft Live everything, right? Mm -hmm. Live yeah, mail. Live messenger, live, live messenger, mail. Yeah. Right, taking live over my website. Okay, so we did a search here as we went away, because I really wanted to show you the kind of aerial photos that you get, satellite photos that you get out of this. Now we searched for the Golden Gate Bridge, and we and got... we got Ernie's Refrigeration. Ernie's Refrigeration. <laughs> now, Ernie's Refrigeration is in at 14 Goose Line, Bath Gase, and G H. Goose Line... What's New, NH stand New for? New Hampshire? New Hampshire. I guess. So let's go and look at Ernie's refrigeration, shall we? We shall. So as we go in, see how the picture changes from the graphic, the green mm -hmm. graphic, to mm -hmm. actual satellite photos. Wow. And there's Ernie. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That, right? Hi, Ernie. Ernie's hanging out over here. Right on. Right? And you can basically see that's where he stores all the refrigerators. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But there's your aerial photo. And again, this is all downloaded online. I think What's going to happen? Too much money. It's going to get property. better and better and better. And at some point, you'll be able to zoom in right on your house and see yourself through the window. Cool. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? No, that's not cool. What I didn't but understand about this whole 3D mapping thing is I can understand looking at a map flat, right, mm -hmm. and, and see the lovely pictures. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone need the ability to to change oh, the oh. level? To make you ill, <laughs> right? Like you, you could, can, you could seriously make someone sick doing it just, that. I just thought it was really odd, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that you know, you, why would you want to see it on a different angle? Maybe Yikes. see the level, the the mountains and so forth. But this is Microsoft's answer to compete against a very popular project, project that people have been downloading called Google 3D Earth. Earth, yeah. Okay. Whenever something good comes out, Microsoft comes out with something almost better. They try to be better. We're like about to go into swag. A football? Okay. <laughs> Remember, next week we're going to show you about Internet Explorer 7 and how neat it is. But Deb says we have to enter into our swag bag. Yes. Now, what we have to mention here is that you've got a picture of this. We went to the Intel conference, right? Make some noise. Yeah, uh, we're making noise. And and we got these passes. So for Deb's birthday, we dished out $50 a piece. Mm -hmm so that we could go down and hang out with 
computer nerds. Get hit in the side from, of the head with a football. It was probably the first time in a long time that I've seen five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, these people are on the stage whipping these footballs yes. at everybody. And the mayhem was incredible as people got hit and there was blood. And oh, oh, I wasn't that. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> these are the, the Microsoft football. So Microsoft Office has invested a lot in footballs. On uh, cups? Uh, with cup. <laughs> cups. Story about the cup is Deb showing you her NVIDIA shirt. Um, we got there, it was 7 o'clock, we had just eaten, and they set up. There's an NVIDIA shirt. Yes, the NVIDIA shirt. Okay, we and both got one of those. And I know it's white and it probably looks horrible. The shirt that Deb is wearing was actually wrapped up in a in the shape of a guitar. It was compressed, so in compressed into the shape and of a guitar. And that's where all the wrinkles, right? And we took it apart, it looked like a... Uh, a um, it looked like crepe. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it was, yeah, that was, it was crazy. Nasty. It was crazy. I was, was lost nasty. for words for the first time. Oh, I, I have a sucker. Yes. That's an... That's an NVIDIA sucker. It's got their logo in the this middle of it. Apparently it's Apple. Hidden camera stuff, right? But what I want to show you is that Deb and I went to this conference, and at the very end of the conference, we had the backstage pass. This made us special. I have something It meant we could go in and sit with all these notebooks to be able to take a look at Vista. Problem was they wanted to teach us. Deb I have something some that you don't. It is a keychain. Yes. That, that, and she forgets that I gave it to her. You had to beg for this thing. Yes. They and, just weren't giving these And now out. you're rubbing in that I don't have and, it. And now, now what I can do with the keychain is I can turn you green. I don't know how that works. <laughs> green with enemy? Okay. Green with All this stuff is non-computer related. But the neat thing about this show is they were showing us Vista. So supposedly we're going to have the opportunity to go in there hang out and play on the top computer systems and play Vista. Mm -hmm. Instead, we got Windows XP, a virtual window mm -hmm. of Vista. Right. And a course. I don't want to take a yeah. course. It's the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, we've already played with Vista. We're beta testers. So Deb and I sat there we to got a see whether we could figure out how to get this notebook online. That's what we did. Two fifty six. But the one thing drive. that we did find was the gentleman in front of us at blue screened. His Vista <laughs> blue screen in but front of him. was it Vista that blue screened or was it virtual PC there that go. blue screened? There, there's we the blue know. screen. We videotaped we it. There is know. a Vista blue screen. Because it's inside the window, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Now, let me tell you cool what kind notepad. of computer geeks we are, though. Yes, we're cool nerds. Cool notepad. Cool notepad, yes. Foxconn. Let's get through some of our stuff we have yes, here. Yes, quickly. Something you can fold up. Um, More logos. Lots and lots of pamphlets. Bathroom reading, this stuff is. Uh, I got more books. This book here tells me the in Intel product guide. So if we need to build a system, I've got uh, information on all their motherboards. Keychain oh, number oh, one oh, for oh, Mac oh. store. Oh, pens. <laughs> NVIDIA we have suckers. In win pens. NVIDIA suckers. Notice the NVIDIA, NVIDIA logo. NVIDIA pens. It's stuck in the sucker. Okay, we're talking, this is the kind of swag that you get. Corsair stickers. Uh, give me your quick story about this flash drive. Yes, on the message board, someone had posted one day that Microsoft was giving away these flash drives for doing a survey. Yes. So we all went and tore off to the site and we did the surveys. And then all of a sudden, after we had applied for these things, it came back saying for U.S. residents only. It said so Canadians nobody could, are evil. Yeah. So nobody could figure out whether the Canadian people that participated were ever going to get these flash drives. Well, lo and behold, they didn't. Only cost us $50. We have them. <laughs> we got them. This is another really neat one. And you can get this download right Asus. off of... They gave us a copy of Vista um, Release Candidate 1 yes. on CD. Yes. But if you go to Microsoft's website, again, the same one I talked about earlier, you can download a program called the Update Advisor that you can run on your computer to find out whether or not when Vista comes out, if your computer is going to sink or swim. Let me tell you, 99% of the machines out there are going to sink. All right, what do you got there? I have an Intel pen. pen. Yeah. I just want to eat the stuff like that's a, inside that pen. You can't eat that stuff. It reminds me it, of an Orbit. It's not Ever tapioca. Have that pop called Orbit? <laughs> okay, I have more CDs that I will play. Um, I have another Keep sucker. Going. I visited the place a couple times. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, I wanted lots of suckers. <laughs> there, now it's doing all the I have a colors. blue Aces pen and I have a NVIDIA pen. I will cherish these pens until someone takes them from me. Oh, I've got my Orbit. I got my oh, Orbit. Oh, you've got all the Corsair tattoos. I have. Oh, they tattoos? Yes. They're, I thought they were stickers for computers. Well, no, the big one is a is a is like a window sticker. These are not. I thought they They're were. Are you sure? Well, the one I have is a tattoo. Maybe yours it are. It says powered oh, no, by. You, okay, yours are stickers. All tattoos saying powered by Corsair. I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought I don't they were computer I, stickers. I got a tattoo. 
You know, well, the neat thing about this whole conference was... Free stuff. Free stuff, okay? <laughs> Actually, so Deb and I are walking free. around holding our tickets because they're, they're giving out stuff like CPUs, yeah. $800 CPUs. Oh, yeah. Some guy got up there and played guitar. They gave him two CPUs, a motherboard. Then he won another then CPU. Then he won another CPU. So this guy won enough stuff to actually uh, start a computer store. <laughs> and, what, and what happened to us? We failed. Well, failed miserably. but oh, no. there's a story uh, behind our okay. failure. Here's my story of failure. In the vendor area where they were drawing your business cards, yes. oh, we, we won did there. win, yes. and nothing extravagant, but we, we won, won a nice little compact in -win, computer case, yeah, an in-win in -win case, media case that we will build a computer in. Right. It's a really nice little desktop system. So that was probably valued about, I guess we won it, so I shouldn't value it, but yeah. $62.99. So next step was... We had dinner. They have a they have pretty amazing dinner. We had a nice dinner. dinner. We, we had, had a beautiful dinner. Chicken, uh, Intel roast and Microsoft beef. fed us chicken roast and beef. roast beef and lovely salads. Veggies. And there was a ro lovely ra uh, ra raspberry, raspberry vinaigrette. Vinaigrette right? dressing. I said vinaigrette. It was lovely. Um, the big thing was it's late. Okay, this thing went from five, seven o'clock in the morning until like 10 o'clock at, at night. So when we found out that we're going to sit with these people and go through a course, I didn't want to learn anymore. Plus the fact it took us an hour to get home So too. we got up, we got our coats on, we're ready to walk out until we found out at the end of this thing they were going to be drawing for an Xbox 360. At that point, there was no way we're leaving. So Deb and I spent the next you three leaving. hours I was ready trying to, to figure home. out if we could find wireless networks around. And lo and behold, she did find some wireless networks, but they really had these systems locked down. Yeah. Long story short, they drew for the Xbox and we failed. We did not win the Xbox. They drew for a computer, a complete computer system, system. they were going to give away. Yeah. We failed again. We yes. did not win that computer system. Right. And this is all in, in this order. In order. The next thing they drew for, we won. We won big. We got a coffee cup, okay? <laughs> hey, that's an ordinary coffee cup. That's a leather-wrapped office coffee cup. Three hours of actually playing with uh, Vista virtual window and being in a lesson. I've got it running here. So and no can internet. See what's going on. And no internet access just to win this Microsoft Office 2007 coffee cup. I'm very proud Next, of it. Next, when we come back, we're going to take a look at Internet Explorer 7 and what it can do for you.